Now, as you can see, I've got one feather done in wax. And uh, I'm going to make another feather, same size, in wax as well. And I'm uh, going to need a couple of tools for that, so I'm going to get started here in about a second. I got my uh, alcohol lamp to heat my tool. Love that little lamp. And I got my tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the serrated edge of this tool and just draw it across at an angle that the uh, quill or the uh, structure of the feather would be. I got a person who bought a full set of DVDs of mine coming by in a few minutes, so I don't know how much I'll get done today. to dinner and he's going to be looking for land around here I guess to buy property to buy so he'll be here for a couple of days now I'm starting to get that uh, feather look it'll take some more work By the way, the sound in the background is my wash machine. I had to do laundry. finer tool. more the texture of the old one. I'll trim off all this excess that's being pushed off and to the off the edge. There's your DVDs. All right. I'm just doing a video right now of making a feather. Now you're Rick Smith. Rick from Smith? Georgia. Yeah. Georgia. Yeah. I got uh, a friend down there. Uh, he's just come up to. Uh, I think you're looking at land or something. Yeah. And uh, he's uh, meeting me for the first time. He feels like he's watched this place grow. And I feel like I'm a celebrity too. 
<laughs> I've watched all your videos on YouTube, subscribed and all that stuff. I tell you, the first thing that impressed me about you, David, was you sound just like Wilfred Brimley. I know that you've people have told you. I that actually before. met him once. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, he used to. I lived in Salt Lake. Well, not Salt Lake, but south of Salt Lake for quite a while. Yeah. And I was in Salt Lake City, and he came walking out of a store, and I said, "Mr. Brimley." <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I like him. But you look a little like him too, you know? Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't have his money, I'll tell you that sure. right now. All right, back to work on my feathers. It's nice having a group. Nice having that gentleman come in and visit with me, and we took a little trip up to Virginia City. And uh, he may be a neighbor soon. Who knows? Anyway. So I'm just going to cut out a few little nicks in the feather just to give it some character. I don't want to overdo it. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to make uh, the quill. With a feather. It's going to be a short video because of uh, the visit. Need just a little more wax on it. to extend the length. I know it's hard to see because it is dark wax. See it? Yeah, there you can. Now I got one more quill to make. Another feather done. Now I know many of you have seen me do this before, but this is for the people who are just starting to watch me for the first time. And uh, what I do is I went and got the uh, paint uh, matched as far as the uh, color of the clay, and I use this paint to. Uh, make the clay look like, uh, well, the wax to look like uh, clay, so it won't be confusing to the eye. When they make a mold of the uh, wax, it'll all come out looking just like the bronze. This just makes it less confusing for those who uh, are looking at the clay. It's 
It's just a little trick I came up with uh, trying to figure out how to make dark wax look like clay. It'll probably take a couple of coats of uh, this paint to get it to look right. What this uh, paint is a is a non-glare indoor paint, and uh, it's water soluble, so you can clean your brush when you're done. I'm going to stick this over here. Then the wire helps me to uh, control the uh, feather a little bit better. All right, I'm going to let that dry. And, uh, Hit it with another coat tomorrow. Yeah, I'm just sticking it, the wire into the uh, foam base. And I'll just let those two feathers dry there, and then I'll add them to the uh, the head tomorrow. I've got one more feather I could could uh, finish off, but let's see what it looks like with three feathers. It's going to be better than one feather. All right, that's going to be it for today. See you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.